Okay. Just gonna see what I'm doing here. I'm gonna empty my weapons and land right here. Okay. Healing up and... But... <laughs> oh. It looks like my cyclones got stuck on the thing. Well. I guess... Oh, Mings are having fun in war. What's up, friends? This is Grandma Eggs, and welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be looking at how to get your Titan fast. Any of them... Wait. Is that Titan? That guy's name? No, it isn't. Okay. Um, that'd be a funny coincidence. But how to get your Titan fast. I'm going to talk about it in the front, and then I'm going to show you some gameplay of as an example. The three things that you need to do to get it faster is run like any like type of spray weapons and fast firing weapons such as rockets any rockets prior on rhyme as the new overpowered ones shotguns and single shots won't work because i'll explain in a second stuff like the new nucleon corker and atomizer work too and especially if you've been seeing blitz with uh shredder the shredder blitz is a really good alternative to uh, more expensive builds such as the leech uh, which is about the same if you put different weapons on I think the blitz is a little easier to upgrade than any of you battle wreck or really high amount or really high account players are gonna have maybe like a max blitz sitting around get it with the new legendary pilot so I want to talk about how the Titan bar works and how you can get your Titan fast used to. I don't know if this intended. Might be a glitch or a bug, as you see here. Oh yeah, flames also work very well, as, I'm see as you see here. I'm using this. Also, my account is not a battle rock account. Let me just tell you that. Most of my weapons are like level six. These are level three shredders and level four blaze on a level six blitz. But it still does the job and the break-in ability does a good amount. So with the Titan bar, they track how many uh, kills, beacons, and damage, and hits. So if you have like machine guns and, and it's counting every single one of those, I don't know, let's say you, ha you shoot 300 rounds on a shredder, well that means you're gonna have 300 ticks, which I don't know, I haven't really looked at it that much, but as you can see, my Titan bar is kind of going up faster. But if you have a maxed Shredder Blitz or Corker Blitz, you can get uh, it really high. The thing with the Blitz is normally the Blitz is used as a very aggressive bot, as you see here. Best skills are the Legendary Pilot and the Death Sur Death 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 Survivor. Let's speak. And um, the Medic Mechanic mechanic or it heals per second as you can see my robot is healing per second also the best the best builds to run on this are either healing if you want to be cheap or most of the time you'll see a bunch of pay to win or try hards using phase shift as i'm using here to stall time for your ability so i'm to just kill this bitch well I'm getting a little lag low <laughs> Hey, Mr. Ajun, where'd you get those teleporting skills? Which pilot skill is that? Oh, gosh. I'm stuck behind the little Fujin legs. I'm attacking this guy. I suppressed him. The legendary pilot is really good because instead of getting an Aegis shield, which is kind of good, but... Aegis shields and shields are not that strong in general. You get 90% resistance, which is the same as a leech. Flame this guy up. Start in the shredders again. And see, phase shift. And boom. Well, oh, I'm dead. Okay. And here's the Titan. Already, I had it a little earlier. If you play more aggressive and you had a maxed out account, I bet you could get your Titan in about two minutes. Running the Yao Ming with lasers right here. Zap this guy up. Oh look, Falcon just jumped into his desk and like, Wee! and then dies. She's chosen death over life. This Arthur is annoying me right there. 
By the way, in the next couple weeks or a month or something like that, I'm gonna create a chain of like which is better, Arthur versus Ah Ming, Ah Ming versus Nodens, and then I'm gonna do how to play the kid, Arthur, Ah Ming, and Nodens, how to play them best. here this is a really good counter the uh the zappy little cataclysm cyclone uh, Ming, arthur and arthur and nodens uh, uh ming in general because that's the highest damage are uh, really good at counting ravana as you saw if you did see um adrian he posted a video of how to beat ravana and it was through using scourge and spark these are basically the equivalent Landing here, healing up. That guy is sneaking around back. That's a Ravana of what I remember. So what's going on over here? He's trying to sneak over here. I don't know why I'm taking damage from a little bit of lag. Yeah. Teleporting, uh, dashing, whatever. Arthur's a totally what I'm used to. I'm gonna see here, we got a few titans. Uh, on our side, we got another army next to me and Arthur about to die in the midst of a battle. And we also have a pretty high level of Arthur that I'm shooting in the butt right now. The only problem with these laser weapons is they're really bad at long range. They're amazingly crazy powerful at short range, but they're kind of bad at long range. The Gendarme Cross here, in my opinion, should be uh, much better at long range. And that's kind of the case. So I'd say like the best setups on here would be uh, two Crossier and two Cataclysm. For the Nodens, two Crossier and two Cyclone. But then for the Arthur, you don't want to really run sniper weapons. They don't work well on the Arthur. Oh wow, yeah, that's a really high level kid. Look at my health. Holy cow, look at my health! Jeez, they're all shooting at me. Look at all those lasers. Jeez. Okay, yeah. I think when you have a few Arthur shooting at you, not just a few, and Al Ming and Ares with a shield and an Arthur. I'm gonna shoot this annoying Arthur in the butt. Shooting with the uh, Redeemers. I feel like this is the best build. This and the Calamity and the, the Rockets, the Glacier. This, these are the best setups on this. A steady, really high burst, just boom, 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 and they're dead. Also, running this was overdrive. Like, two overdrive in the last stand, you've got a crazy Arjun. My friend Grim just cataclysm that guy. Oh, that's an Omega. I thought it was like an Arjun for a second. There's that guy. I have the Young Lee, but it's not on this pilot. I stepped out a little too far and that Al Ming got me. I'm gonna spawn, not really sure. I'll just see, I love enough. Take this guy, it's like what the heck. Yeah, Ravana is a very powerful bot. Also the Scorpion as you saw a little earlier. In the video you might have saw Scorpion on my team, jumping around people. The only problem with the Scorpion is when you teleport back, you're very vulnerable. It's like a leech amount of health with 50% resistance. Also, my thoughts about the new uh, leech pilot in the operations pass is pretty bad because the thing with the leech is you you want resistance for the leech. You want to be able to run in. By the way, uh, Titan bypasses my leech ability, so yeah. You want to be able to just run in there and take a bunch of damage and just waste your enemy's firepower and do some damage. So that's like the, right there, the best, one of the best setups on the Alming. Uh, but with this pilot, I think you get like healing or something instead of resistance, which I don't think really works. Right here, I'm gonna show you a clip of an example of the Blitz Shredder thing with Bob. How oh, it gets my Titan faster. Look at my Titan bar, by the way. I'm gonna start at exactly nine minutes. Three, two, 
one. Look at my tank, man. Remember, I'm only shooting with two level one shredders. Imagine four max shredders plus the ability. As you can see, my Titan bar really jumps up. Because like I said, the, all the shots, the little shots. Also, I think it might be because of the lockdown. I think if you use abilities or something like that, you get extra like points. This is just point blank. I don't think it really makes much difference. Kinda. I'm actually just gonna use all weapons. As you can see, my Titan bar is really flying now. I don't know if you can hear the dog in the background. Jeez. Tried to record this. Loud doggy. There's the other blitz. Uh, if you're wondering, uh, the other account in front of me, that's basically my other account. You might uh, see the other account being played as my teammate. This blitz doesn't do, holy cow, I was about to say it doesn't do any damage. Yeah, I think I was shooting out of Fenrir. So, yeah, these weapons need to be nerfed. Yeah, nerfed. Anybody agree with me? Just type nerf the Titan laser weapons in the comments. Cause holy cow, they're powerful. Also, the uh, the the freezing rockets. I think they got a nerf. The freezing rockets are okay now. But I think the uh, maybe the gust. The gust used to be like the best weapon in the Halo. Double kill. The worst. Yeah. Jeez. Look how fast I kill him. Okay, I'm gonna hop on the game number two. Team deathmatch again. I don't really play Beacon Rush most of the time because in Team Deathmatch you, you you normally get to play the bots longer and Beacon Rush you're always going for beacons and dying. Also a Phantom, Scorpion, Ajun, Leech, any of those bots are good. Don't use like a Leech late into the battle because of Titans. They just kind of ruin you with their 80 something percent resistance bypass. Also, I feel like the scorpion is kind of, for me, kind of annoying because once everybody at least has a scorpion, or at least all the top players in a few months, there's like nowhere to hide all all the other bots except for maybe the Ravana, Phantom, some tanky robots like that that can survive a scorpion attack are pretty much useless. As you can see here, the teleporting robots are a pretty big problem. The Phantom was already a problem. The Halo and Corona or Halo and Storm Phantoms, those were a problem already. Now they just added one that doesn't even have to wander. Just teleports there. It's in danger, just teleports back. Simple as that. No skull required. All you have to do is tap a button, move a little, and hold that red button. As you can see here, massive resistance on the Phantom, just walking into the enemy base, killing a poor little outdated Rasion, teleporting back into what I call safety nut. Nope, that's not safety. And uh, yeah, killing a Falcon. I feel like some of these should get like a nerf. I feel like the Scorpion, or what I feel like is the Scorpion should really get, really get a nerf. Meaning, it currently has, I think, 50% resistance when it goes into its mode, so it teleports behind you with, like, a Ravana amount of health, a good amount of firepower. It's basically a teleporting Ravana, except that it doesn't have invincibilities. And with the cloaking unit, it teleports behind you, you shoot it, it stealths for four seconds, you're dead, it teleports back, and it acts like nothing happened. It gets ready to do it all over again. Thing with the teleporting robots is this Oop. managed to hit me before I went. Oh yeah, overdrive is a really good module to run on the uh, on the Ravana because you can control the damage. So basically, if you take 
the correct, or the right amount of damage. And you can just basically make yourself invincible and you don't have to go under that. Also, what I'm running is two of the overdrive modules and a uh, anti-control. This is one of my strongest robots right here, the Phantom. The good old Gust of Corona Phantom. I'm going down right there to a Nightingale. What is this Strider doing? AFK. If you've heard AFK before if you, and you don't know what it means, it means away from keyboard, basically not playing. This is players in the game, but he's not playing. Jeez, I'm seeing like old robots. I saw a Rasion, now I'm seeing a Lance a lot. I saw a Griffin. But I'm seeing some newer ones like the Nightingale and Ravana. Oh yeah, leeches that just activated their ability are very, very prime target for robots like a blitz. They can easily take them down. Not easily, but max out blitz can really pack a punch. It's a leech to world. Gonna reload my weapons right here. Oh, this guy's leeching. I'm just gonna kill him. Oh, I wasn't leeching for long. Got him with the break-in. There we go. Face shift. Good thing I didn't use it earlier. I was about to. Falcon attacked me. Oh, and... Yeah, it's again. He's using Pinata? I thought he was going to be using something a little more powerful. Oh, here we go with the, uh, Yaming. Not really doing much right now. Shooting this guy, whatever the heck he is. Oh, that was a leech. My friend did take a little bit of damage, but killing the leech in the end was a good thing. Nightingales are really annoying to Titans, especially on Mings. Constant stealth and Lokis. Looks like I'm at ma max height. Tried to get up a little higher. Shooting this guy. There's an Aming that just spawned in the enemy. Toma 2, or 0 2. I'm just gonna say 2. Toma 2 just deployed an Aming right there. I'm gonna start shooting him with all my weapons. Holy cow, look at, it. Look at his health! Look at his health! There he goes. Holy cow. And come on, Titan Slayer, we made it. Oh, come on. You see these weapons, they fire for so long, it's so long down. Oh, he managed to escape. Darn it. Okay, I'm landing. It's like four players on me. Did a good amount of damage. Remember, like I said, these are not maxed things. This is a uh, level 16 on me. No crazy stuff. Actually, after I release this, I'm gonna make a video with the notes. The newest of the Titans. How about the which is better, the Aming or the Arthur? I feel like they're both like the they're both good, and some are better in different ways, like the Elming is better at getting like kills and the Arthur is better at um, supporting, or not really supporting, but pushing the side, getting some good down. It's a very tanky bot, by the way. Million HP shield. See these guys over there. Uh, if you wanna go check that uh, video out, We're gonna put it in the description.
shooting this guy, whatever the heck he is. I th no, he's a tire with mullets. What's that? Have you ever seen a tire with mullets? When do you see those things? For me, about never. It's also a pretty weird setup on that Arthur over there, if you didn't see. Okay, I'm gonna unload my weapons. That's the only problem with the cyclone is unload. Okay, I'm healing up. And <laughs> oh, it looks like my cyclone are stuck in the ledge. Well, I guess the Amings are having fun in war. Oh, huh. <laughs> Bouncing up and down. Okay. That was funny. That glitch has happened to me before, but it looks funny on the giant titan. Shooting this guy. All my laser weapons. I keep losing lock on. Keeps going out of my range. I think I'm just going out of my range myself. Shooting this guy. This annoying guy is back. Trying to shoot me. Jeez, that guy's annoying. He's gonna keep pestering me with those mullets. I think he's reloading, that's why he's not shooting at me. Oh, uh, there he goes again. Did the mola is so annoying. Doesn't do that much damage either. Just right. What did I <laughs> What did I do with my weapons? Did you see that? My cyclone. I kinda just I don't know. Went the other way. Got gendarm. Yeah, I'm gonna reload my weapons. Healing up a little. Just a little. But a little helps. Oh. And victory. Didn't really need a reload. I can just keep pewing him. Okay, let's see how we did. 2.2 million damage. Here, this is my hangar. Here's my arming. Level 1 shredder. And yeah, my phantom's pretty high upgraded. So, yeah, the thing to get your uh, Titan faster uh, is basically any fast firing weapons because of the Titan bar, it counts it counts how many shots you do into them. So I think Atomizer and Corker would actually be good. Also, Spark. Also, any of the laser weapons that, like, shoot. So Blaze, Spark, uh, Shredder. Uh, Shredder, I think, is the best one at doing it. That and the blaze and the corker and any of the other ones. Not really a pulsar because it's a slower firing weapon. Okay, I'm gonna go in here and show you all of them. So atomizer, corker, the nucleon spark. Okay, I'm not gonna click on everyone. Uh, the cryo, the calamity viper is good. A lot of them are really good. The blaze, definitely the shredder. The scourge is kind of good, not as good, because you need more of the fast firing, but it does do tick shots, or kind of like a long lasting. Also the glacier right there, the ember, igniter, and a few others. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like and comment and subscribe. Thank you, guys.